Essex beat Warwickshire in three days to set up their first title in a quarter of a century. After Essex had posted 369 in their first innings, Warwickshire needed an improvement upon their opening knock of 201 to keep the game alive. Both sides began day three knowing there was a real possibility that the county championship title could be wrapped up. Knowing what was at stake, Essex were in the mood to take quick wickets. Porter got them started, picking up his 62nd of the season to dismiss Sibley. Things got even better for the visitors and Porter moments later. Just seven runs had been added in the morning session before he had Hain trapped in front, much to the delight of the Essex fans. An absolutely torrid morning looked set to continue for Warwickshire. They were staring down the barrel of relegation. Trot played Cook onto his stumps and departed for six. And he was followed back to the pavilion moments later by his former England teammate Bell, who edged Porter behind to Foster for five. Warwickshire could sense that the game was up, and England man Wokes could do nothing about the next wicket. Harmer's spin too much for him, Wokes going for a duck. The Bears got to the interval, which was taken early due to rain, on 55 for five. Essex knew that they could seal the match and possibly the title in the following session. Almost straight after the restart, the champions elect made a breakthrough. The champagne had been on ice during the rain delay, but Harmer tempted Mellor to an edge, which Chopra took in the slips to leave the visitors four away from victory. Barker was next in, but he could only last six deliveries before nicking Harmer behind, a sense of inevitability setting in for the hosts. Lamb had played well for the home side, showing some classy resistance while the rest of the middle order failed, but he couldn't resist having a heave off Harmer, Lawrence catching him out in the deep. That brought 18-year-old Brown to the crease, and he seemed determined to stick around whilst the experienced Patel tried to delay the inevitable. Although Patel's time was up when he spooned a cook delivery into the onside, Lawrence the catcher. It didn't take long for Essex to claim their final scalp. Brooks was the last man to go, Palmer dismissing him back pad, meaning that after winning by an innings and 56 runs, if Lancashire then failed to beat Somerset, Essex would be crowned Division 1 champions.